You're listening to the Lazenby Experience Podcast with your host, Joshua Lazenby. The Lazenby Experience Podcast is a podcast to help individuals find their way to their success. Whether it's going to a four-year university, community college, trade school, or anything else, my goal is to be a resource to help you along the way. I'll be sharing my personal ups and downs, as well as tips as I continue my journey to receive my bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. I will also have guests to share their stories, advice, and experiences. So come along for the ride as you begin your journey to your success. Welcome to another episode of the Laz and B Experience podcast. This is episode number nine. I'll be going over getting the most out of your internship. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you. This is definitely would be some good information for those who are entering their first internship or their second or third internship. Um, it also be good information for those who might be entering their first full time job too. Even though a lot of stuff I am gearing towards internships and co ops, um, this information will also be good for those who will be entering their first full time job out of college as well. So within this episode, I will be going over setting goals um, at the beginning of your internship, um, networking with as many people as possible, um, not being afraid to make mistakes, and then an internship experience evaluation, self-evaluation that I created um, that I think would definitely be helpful for you guys. So starting off, let's go over setting goals before your internship. These should be goals that are specific to your position as well as to the internship as a whole. So some people might know exactly their position before the internship because um, their manager may have sent it uh, with details of their um, tasks or anything like that. Some of them don't, so you might not be able to know exactly what you're doing, but hopefully you at least know what department you're in and um, your position title. So you can kind of go off of that and see what goals you can write for your specific position. Now, if you don't get that information, you don't get into your first day, then, I mean, you're still at the beginning of your internship. So within that first week or so, you can write these goals as well. And then um, goals for your internship as a whole can mostly, when I say that I'm talking about um, networking, which I'll be talking about a little bit after I'll be talking about after this topic. But I'll be, um, one of the thing, one of the main things that I, I'm talking about when I say um, your in, um, setting goals for your internship as a whole is networking with as many people as you can. So I'll be going over that right after I finish this topic. Um, they should be something you can accomplish within your time frame of your internship. So some most internships are between three or four months. So these should be goals that you can accomplish within that time frame because you don't want to have a goal that will take a year to to accomplish within that position, but you can't accomplish it because you um, set your ambitions a little bit too high for for the three or four months that you'll be there. So they don't have to. You don't have to be too ambitious, especially if this is your first internship. Um, but they should be something that, that kind of challenge you as well. So try to keep it within that, that internship, um, time period. And then some examples, some, um, kind of general examples of goals you can set. It could be one kind of technical skill that you want to improve. It can be a soft skill that you want to improve. So being able to network with others, which I kind of talked about, we'll be talking about. Um, building a network of contacts. So maybe you want to build five or six um, contacts that you can talk to after your internship is over. Excuse me. And then depending on if you get paid or not, I know for my field of engineering, you get um, you get paid. You, of course, it's not as much as a uh, employee, but it is pretty well um, paid. So one goal could be to save a certain amount of money um, out, uh, from your internship. So those are a few goals that you can definitely set for yourself. 
and you should definitely try to do as much as you can before the internship or within that first week because sometimes you might not know all the information you need in order to set those goals so that is definitely something you want to do moving forward uh, next topic networking with everyone so just because when I say networking with everyone, it doesn't mean you have to build a relationship with everyone that you talk to. And when I say network, I mean talk with and start a conversation with everyone that you can. Um, and then, of course, if these conversations doesn't lead to anything, that's fine. But if they do lead to something, definitely make sure you um, continue that conversation and you build upon that conversation throughout their, your internship and after um, intentionally have conversations with everyone that's a part of your team, including your manager. I know sometimes some people might feel, especially as an intern, you might feel inferior to, or you might feel that your manager is um, too great to talk to outside of the job. Um, a lot of times managers are open or they should be open if they have interns on their team to having conversations and networking with their interns. Um, so you should definitely try to get to know your team, including your manager, as much as possible throughout this internship because those can be people that you consider mentors in the future. And then I know with my internship, um, the people who are, who are ahead of the actual internship pro program they actually sent all the interns information out to everyone that worked in that office so people end up seeing my information and they end up sending me emails saying welcome to the team welcome to the company if you need anything deaf you can hit me up or something like that so if you ever get anything like that please take them up on their offer if they say I would like to have lunch with you or just have a conversation with you or if you need something throughout your internship, you can let me know. Definitely do that because um, it shows you have initiative and then those people can be, again, they can be mentors, they can be people who can help you get a full-time job after you graduate or something of that nature. So definitely take advantage of the the easy opportunities that are offered to you. Especially if you're a shy person. Because some people are introverts and you're not that outgoing. You're not the person to always go out and try to start a conversation. So definitely, if you get those emails, if you get those phone calls or anything like that, um, take, them, take, up, take them up on the offer as much as you can. And it, if it doesn't interfere with your, your job or your assignments. Now this one is something I recently did probably last summer was the first time I did it, but challenge yourself, whether you're introvert or extrovert to talk, to try to have a one-on-one -on -one with your manager's manager or someone on, um, someone on an executive level. So last summer, I interned with the same company that I just finished a co-op with this uh, fall semester. And last summer, I actually had a one-on-one -on -one lunch with the VP of engineering. And I basically did that by emailing her because everyone has access to everyone's emails. And did her, her secretary's um, schedule time for us to talk. Of course, I had questions lined up. Um, I had questions prepared which actually have questions that you can ask a manager or, or ask someone on an executive level as well. So if you want that, I can get that to you or I can email that to you. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But she set up the meeting and we had lunch and we talked for maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes or so. And she knows who I am. When I came back this past fall semester, she knew who I was. And it kind of made that great relationship where when I graduate, I have a better chance of getting a full-time job than anybody else who might just apply out the blue because they seen a position open. So definitely try to um, have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with uh, somebody on the executive level 
I does again. It doesn't have to be the CEO. It doesn't have to be any um, chief or anything like chief marketing officer, or chief operation officer. It can just be. It can be a vice president. It can be a department manager or something like that. It doesn't have to be that high. But definitely try to talk with other managers outside of your your manager because you should be having conversations with your manager already. And then with that, it helps you see a, a bigger picture of the company. You get to see where, at least with the questions that I have already, you get to see where they came from, their background, why they chose the position, and kind of help you evaluate whether you want to be uh, within that company or not. And then lastly, with networking with everyone, if your company that you are interning with have employee research groups or ERGs, they're like um, organizations or clubs within your your company. So just like how at, in high school or in college, you have different clubs that you can join, companies are doing the same thing where employees can have leadership roles within um, different groups. They can have, they have members and then they put on different events. Of course, they're probably not as frequently as someone as organizations within a college because they are getting paid to do a certain job but they do have certain events throughout the year that hopefully you as an intern would, should be able to join as well so if you do have the opportunity to be a part of a group or attend any of their events definitely do that because there will be a lot of networking going on within those meetings as well and this a lot of the material will be something you can bring back to yourself and help you um, self-develop as well. So that is all I have for networking with everyone. Um, next is making mistakes. Now this is something I want to talk about because um, a lot of people might get an internship and they might not feel that they are prepared for that internship or whatever have, it, have you or something like that. It's okay to make mistakes because your manager, your teammates, the people who hired you, they do not expect you to know everything. Um, they know you are intern, they know that you are freshly or still in college, so you still have a lot of growth to get, have before you get a full-time job. But as long as you put in that effort, as long as you are trying, as long as you are using your resources, they will see that and they will uh, make you stand out amongst other interns. Um, another good thing, well, I kind of said, uh, try using all your resources around. So Google, um, if they have books or um, like manuals or anything um, within your department, your class material, anything like that, that can help you. Um, you are free to use that information um, to help you with your assignments. So don't be afraid to use outside resources. And the thing about mistakes um, is something I learned personally is that you learn a lot from your mistakes, uh, maybe even more from your mistakes than you do from your successes. So don't be afraid to make that mistake because you have just found one way of knowing how not to do something, which can help you in the future. Because if you have something similar, you can say, I tried that before. Now I'm going to try a different way and become successful at it. The one thing I do want to make sure I say, if you don't remember anything from this, definitely remember this. Um, if you went, th uh, make sure you uh, go through all your resources before you go back to asking your manager um, how to do something. So within your, man within your department that you work in, your manager or maybe someone within your team might give you your assignments. So when they are giving your assignments, that is the time to ask as many questions as possible. So um, until you understand exactly what they're asking for, you should be asking questions um, throughout that time period. So after you've gone through that to give you your assignment and now you're working on your assignment and now you realize, oh man, I should ask this question too. 
before you go back and ask that question, you should be using up all your resources. So like I talked about with Google, with different books or manuals, with your class material that might help, even asking other um, people within your team that might have more specialty within that department or within that um, whatever assignment that you're working on, even using them before you going back to the person who assigned you that that um, um, assignment or that project will look a lot better than you going back to your manager as soon as you have a question and and trying to get the answer from them because it shows that you are using your resources. It shows that you are you are um, a problem solver. You're not just a person who looks for, who just wants the answer right away. You're someone who can maneuver around your resources to find the best solution. Now, of course, if you use um, all your resources and you still can't find an answer, definitely go back to your manager, let them know, okay, I looked it up at X, Y, and Z, and I still couldn't find it. Can you lead me in the right direction so I can be able to complete my assignments? You can definitely do that. You should definitely do that after you kind of use up all your resources. So those are the three topics that I talked about, uh, talked about so far. So setting goals for your internship, networking with everyone, and then not being afraid to make mistakes. So this next one, I have my laptop. I don't think you can see it, but it's right here on my side. Um, it's the internship experience self-evaluation. Um, I created this because I feel like, or you should feel like this internship is just an extension of an interview whether you're getting paid or not this is an extension of an interview to see you actually in the work environment and seeing how you work but you should also see it as um extension of the interview on your end too so you just as much as they are interviewing you or seeing your skills you should be looking at the company and seeing is this somewhere I want to work at? Is this some? Is are these people I want to work with? Is this the kind of work that I want to do? So um, I created this um, ev self evaluation so you can answer these questions throughout your internship. So you can once you're about to graduate, you can have maybe two or three of these because you had two or three um, internships. And you can kind of evaluate whether well, which one would be better if any of those are um, companies you're thinking about working for full time after you graduate. Um, it's also good to keep a journal. Um, so maybe there are questions on here that you, that I didn't come up with or that didn't work. You can definitely keep a journal and just write down different things that you feel you want to remember for the future so you can help um, figure out if that's somewhere you want to work for in the future, even for another internship. So I do want to go over the questions that I've created and kind of explain them if I if they need to be explained, just so you will know. So once you get, if you want this um, self evaluation, I can definitely send it to you. I uh, talk about how to send it to you at the end. But let me go over these questions. The first one: uh, What did you learn while working at this at the company? And then I put about the company and about yourself. So this question is about overall, what did you learn? Did, did you already, what did you not know about the company before you started interning? And then what did you not know about yourself um, before you start interning? Um, so those are some good things um, that you should note so you can figure out, okay, I didn't know I can network with uh, executive, um, a, an executive and have a one-on-one -on -one and be able to have this conversation. And now I know I can. So in the future, you can have something, you can continue doing that. Of course, I put the name of the company at the top so you can remember what company is which. Number two, um, how can what you learn be used in the future? So again, with your goals, how can I use what I've learned, whether I work for this company or whether I work for a different company? How can 
it be used so I can be successful whatever I'm being successful at because if nothing you learn from this company can be useful and it's only useful for the stuff that you did on your projects then you might not be able to it might not be a good choice to go back to them because you know you you're not being able to use your skills outside of that that um that company so definitely you want to make sure you can use the skills outside of just at that company uh number three what are some characteristics what character what character traits sorry what character traits did you use the most so um some character traits i put on here as, as examples is ambition adventurous focus open-minded so what kind of character traits did you use the most while you are uh, performing your tasks networking with people uh, talking with your manager and that kind of thing uh, number four, I think is a very important question. How are your interactions with your manager? Um, this is very important, especially if if this is a, p a department that you might want to work in because it's not just about what you're working on, it's about who you're working with. And if your manager is somebody that you feel you can't really interact with or someone you're afraid to interact with, you might want not want to work for that um, department you might want to still work for that company but not just that department because your manager is someone you will have to contact or um, talk with on a regular basis the next question is a yes or no question were you treated like an employee so were you just somebody who had to go get, get coffee make copies and all that kind of stuff or were they giving you assignments were they treating you like an employee were they um, saying good morning and that kind of thing. Uh, question number six, what was your manager's management style? So um, you may know, you may not know, but managers have different, there are different management styles that managers use in order to manage their their team. So no matter what kind of management style is it, it is, is that management style something that can help? Is that... Um, what is that management style? I should say because the next question is, um, did their management style hinder your progress, or make it harder for you to complete your tasks or projects? So, no matter what kind of um, management style that they have, if it's something that's not gonna make you or help you with your projects or with your assignments, then that's might not be a manager that you want to work for in the future. Number eight, how was your interactions with your teammates slash other employees? So again, were the teammates or other employees that are not a part of your team, were they um, treating you like an employee? Were they um, greeting you in the hallway? Did they um, just think of you as an intern? Did they think you as a, a valued member or part of their team? Because that's important that you feel valued when you're working with people, whether you are the lowest person on the team or the highest person on the team. Everyone wants to feel that they are um, valued. So that's a great question to make sure you understand how they treat their interns. Um, these next three questions um, are yes or no questions. So the first one, um, did they cheat you as part of the team? Yes or no? I uh, talked about this a little bit. Uh, does the company have employee resource groups? Um, ERG, so do they have different clubs or clubs or organizations that you can join um, within their their company? And then if they do have those ERGs, would you be interested in joining any of them? Now, as an intern, of course, you're not there. You're only there for three or four months. so. Um, if you are able to join, you're not able to get a full uh, grasp of what they do. Um, but you might be able to uh, you might be able to attend one or two of their events, and you might see, uh, okay, I can see myself being a part of this team or being a part of this this um, employee resource group. So definitely want to check those out if they have them. Number twelve. Uh, this you want to list 
the projects or slash assignments that you were assigned. So you want to, uh, I did this for that, did this for the last two internships that I had, but uh, every time I was assigned a different task or a different project, I wrote it down what they wanted, what the, the whole gist of that project or assignment was just so I can have a list of it. One, because at the end of the internship, I have to give a presentation. I can easily go off of that so I can talk about what I've done throughout my internship. And then two, so I can go back and see it in the future. Again, trying to figure out where I want to work at once I graduate. And what kind of assignments I could possibly be assigned if I to go, go back to that department. Uh, number 13. What are the benefits of the assignment slash projects you were assigned or assigned to you? Again, are they assigning you projects that actually have some meaning behind it that they're going to use after you graduate? Is it just some assignment to have give you busy work? What are the benefits that the department sees, the company sees, your teammates sees, um, and are, is it value? Again, everyone wants to have some kind of value or feel like they're valued. Uh, number 14, overall, did you enjoy your assignment slash projects you were assigned? So did you enjoy what you actually worked on? Um, did you feel challenged throughout your experience? So did you actually feel that you had to uh, work a little bit harder? Did you feel that you had to use the resources around you? Um, because again, a lot of people, they want to feel challenged. They don't want to, I mean, some people do like doing the same thing over and over again, but for those who want to do something different every day or, or feel like <clears throat> they are challenged, did, did this experience give you what you're looking for? Uh, number 16, were you able to learn more about the company as a whole? Um, so again, within your department, we, did you have those one-on-ones with your manager, with your teammates, just to learn more about the company? Um, because even though you might like your department, maybe your company is actually doing something that you morally don't like um, that you might have to figure out is that something I can um, look over and continue working there or is that something that I, I just can't I can't um, work there because because it's something that I morally can't um, accept uh, number 17 sorry uh, do you agree with the company's mission and vision so every company, um, they should have a mission statement and a vision statement. Read over it. You don't have to memorize it, but see if what they stand for is something you can stand behind as well. Uh, number 18, are there departments? Are there other departments within the company you think you would enjoy working in? If so, which ones? Um, again, this goes to you actually networking with other people outside your team, networking with other managers, just so you can see maybe that department you worked on, worked with uh, worked with wasn't a department that you wanted to work in. You wasn't interested in what they they were doing, but you like the company. You were able to talk to a manager from a different department. And you think what they're doing is very interesting. Um, write that comp write that department down and talk to your talk to that manager talk to the people who are head of your internship program and, they, and maybe you can get an internship w within that department and in, in the summer or the next summer so uh definitely keep track of those departments if you ever figure out if there's another department that you're interested in and then the last question is can you see yourself working there full time so after you graduate with your degree, um, again, this might not be a question for a full-time employee, or if you're a full-time employee, you might not answer this question, but for those who are doing internships and co-ops, do you see yourself working there full-time? Do you see yourself working with those people? Do you see yourself working with that manager or any of the managers that you might have talked with? Um, those are the kind of questions you want to make sure you can answer and say yes to and see if you really want to uh, work with those with with um, this company so those are the questions I have on my internship uh, experience self-evaluation 
Um, I have a few more things I want to talk about, but after that, I will let you know how you can get a hold of that questionnaire, as well as the questions you might want to ask a manager when you have, if you ever have a one-on-one -on -one with them. I have those questions as well. So, a few more things, and then we will wrap up with how you can get it. So, I talked about this one already. So, things to know: the first one, internships are extended in interviews. Um, so. Within your interview process, you you went through that and you're successful at that at saying what you're good at, what you uh, what you might not be good at, uh, what you're excited about, and that kind of thing. So now it's time to show that. So just because you got this internship doesn't mean they are they are stop evaluating you or stop interviewing you. So definitely keep that in mind. But also remember whether it's the actual interview or the internship, you are still interviewing them as well. So that's why we created this um, internship self-evaluation, um, but it's on both ends. They're interviewing you and you should be interviewing them as well. Um, the second thing, um, let's see. okay, I just talked about that. Um, this is great to know at the end of the internship, whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, you do not have to commit to that company uh, just because you accepted an internship and you went through the internship. They are not expecting every intern to say, this is something I want to do uh, once I graduate. They would like that to happen, but they understand that um, only a certain percentage will be that type of person where they like their experience and want to continue that experience. So don't feel obligated to accept something if that's not something that you want, uh, if that's not a company you want to work for or department you want to work in. And then it works vice versa too. Just because you like them and you like what you were doing, they might like not like you because you wasn't coming in on time or you wasn't completing your assignments on time or something like that. So it works both ways. Um, throughout your experience, ask as many questions to as many people about as many things as possible. And it can, and this can pertain to the company, pertain to the departments, um, pertain to your position or their position, or anything pretty much um, like within the professional realm. So um, you might have questions about the company that your manager don't know. Um, you can go to someone else and ask those questions. You can um, go to it again when you go into different departments and maybe have interviews or one-on-ones with other managers, ask as many questions as you can. Again, it can be about the company, it can be about their department, it can be about a position you might be, be interested in, or it can be about um, some kind of professional manner. So maybe you want them to look over your resume. Maybe you want them to um, be your mentor or something like that. So definitely um, ask as many questions to as many people about as many things as you can. And then I talked about this too. This is the last thing. Write down every assignment. Uh, yeah, I did say this. Write down every assignment or project that you've been assigned. Um, like I said, at the end of every internship that I had, I had to give a presentation talking about my experience. And you writing down everything you've done throughout your experience is the best way to not forget anything and not feel overwhelmed and not feel nervous about giving your presentation. So definitely, if you can, write a journal. Um, if you want, like I said, this internship experience, self-evaluation, I have a question in there about listing your projects. You can have that. And there's actually a... Um, it's a fillable PDF that I created, which I am very proud of myself for learning how to do it. Um, but you can definitely get that. You can fill it out right on the form. You don't have to print it out. You can definitely print it out if you want to, if you like to write um, with pen and paper. But you can just fill it out on your computer and then have it on your computer for later. You can print it out after you fill it out too. Um, but that is all I have for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. 
Um, like I said, if you want a copy of either the self internship self evaluation form or the list of questions that I've asked my managers um, in the past, you can email me at lazenbyexperience at gmail.com. That's L A Z E N B Y experience at gmail.com. You can um, DM me on Facebook as well. Um, this will be on YouTube as well, so you can write a message or comment on YouTube. Um, like I said, this could be on Facebook, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, almost anywhere you listen to podcasts. So definitely um, hit me up if you have any questions about anything I talked about today. Um, I think that's all I have. Um, again, I hope you learned something from it. Thank you if, if you listen to this whole video or to this whole audio. Um, but until next time, continue your journey until you reach your success. Thanks for listening to the Lazenby Experience Podcast with me, Joshua Lazenby. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something to help you along your journey to your success. The Lazenby Experience Podcast will continue to be available anywhere you listen to podcasts, including Facebook, YouTube, and Apple Podcasts. If you really enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe, leave a rating, and write a comment. For any questions, you can reach me at lazenbexperience at gmail.com. Until next time, continue your journey until you reach your success.